What's up guys, War Nickel Revolution here, back at you with another nickel box hunt. And we've got one of those NF String and Sons, Sons boxes with the holes in it. So you can see all of them up top here. They're definitely circulated, so that's good. You can see some of the older ones, like here and here and here. Some of the newer ones here, here, here. But um, I'm not seeing anything particularly old. Um, I'm gonna flip it and open it from the other side see if we got any enders on that side But uh, I'll be back in a second if I find any enders I'll show you what they are before we start Well guys, I'm not seeing anything right off the bat um, Nothing looks particularly that old except for maybe this one. This could be 60s though It's in pretty good shape for whatever it is It's an older Monticello though Let's see if there's anything else in here. I think this one looks kind of old. That could be 70s. You just never know. So I think I'm just going to start off with this uh, random nickel roll. Probably like this one up here. And we'll see what we can find. See you guys in a second. On our first find. Well guys, that's a very good sign. Right off the bat. A few coins in we found two finds right next to each other a 1956 and a 1940 not sure the mint marks yet but we'll figure it out together 1940 Philly that's awesome and a 1956 Denver sweet Let's see what else we can find well guys we're still in roll number one we found yet another find a 1940 right here Philly just like the last one awesome see what else we can find well guys we just entered our second roll and we already might have something here it looks like a foreign coin Let's see what it is all right the back of it's got a 20 on it in this kind of wreath pattern but I think I already know what this is a coin from Switzerland yep confeder Roshno, uh, Helvetica, I got my scope out so you can see the detail better, 1976, now the crown of this, I think it's a girl, this girl's crown says Libertas. And then there's a bow and everything, and her hair is all done up nice. But the back side's really cool too. That big 20. And then that cool floral pattern with the leaves and the little flowers. It's a really nice coin. I like it a lot. I have found one of these before in the past, but it's been a while since I found one. Anyways, let's see what else is in this roll. If there's anything, I'll show you. If there's not, then I'll show you. I'll see you on the next find. Well, we're in roll number four, and we found something. It's a 1959 Denver. Awesome. I find a 50s coin. Let's keep going hunting. It's been a while since I've turned on the camera, guys, but we are on roll number eight. We just got this one. It's a 1952. See what the mint mark is. 52 Philly. All right. Another awesome coin. Let's see that. What else we can get out of this roll? What is that? Is that a war nickel? Oh my gosh! There's a war nickel in this roll. I didn't even think that was a war nickel, but um, it is next to a dirty coin in here. This is the dirty one. But then this is a war nickel right here. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see better. So this is just the really dirty nickel right here, and then this is the war nickel. You can barely tell that there's any difference, any discoloration. But it's a 1943, and it's probably going to be a Philadelphia. Let's see what it is, though. Yep, it's a Philadelphia. So we'll check for the 43 or the 42 over 43, which it isn't. And we'll check for, I think it's the double I on Jefferson. And I'm not seeing anything there. 
So it's just a regular war knuckle, but still, first war knuckle of the box. Really wasn't expecting to find it. As you saw by my excitement, I had no idea that was going to be in there. Um, it's not in the best of shape, but, you know, what, what are you going to say about it? It's a war knuckle. It's awesome. Let's continue the hunt. Guys, we're in the next roll right after that war knuckle. We got this 1947. That's in decent shape. There's not a lot of scratches on his face and whatnot, but it's a decent find. And it's a 47S, which is awesome because that's a low minted Jefferson. Let's take a look under under the scope just for funsies. So estimate mark right there. I don't think there's any errors on this coin. Let me just look in my book real quick. Put you down for a second. Where did I bring my book? Oh, here it is. It's in blind sight. Let's flip over to the nickel page. I'm pretty sure there's not a nickel... Nickel variety on this one. 47S. Yep, there's no variety in the red book. I'm I'm sure there's probably varieties and things like that. But uh let's just continue and see what else we can find. Number 13, guys, we got something. It's a 1941. What is that? Is that an S? Let's just throw it under the scope real quick, see what that is. And it is an S. And it looks like a weird S to me. Like a repunchment mark, maybe? Not really sure. Let's get closer. Doesn't that look like a repunchment mark, guys? Someone tell me that in the comments down below. Anyways, that looks a little bit weird. Anyways, yep, let's keep on hunting and see what else we can find. Roll number 14, guys, we found something. It's a 1946 with a Philly mint mark or no mint mark. But awesome coin, keeping it. 40s roll number 15 guys another awesome coin 1940 philadelphia i'll keep it so i have third one in the box so far let's keep on hunting and see what else we can find number 16 guys we found something it's a 1953 out of denver awesome let's continue and see what else we can find but i well guys i'm glad i didn't turn the camera on right away because we found a 57 here 57 Denver, and then a few coins after that, we found a 1953 Philly. Two pretty good coins from the 50s. I'll take it. See what else we can find. Guys, we're on roll 21, and we just got something. 1941 Philly. Awesome. Let's keep on hunting. Still on roll 21, we got something pretty special right after that 1941. Got this 1939. And I'm actually going to put it under the scope for the big reveal. See if it's got a mint mark. But 39 right there as you can see. Let's flip it and find out if it's got a mint mark. Alright. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. But no mint mark. And while we're here. Let's see if it's got any doubling on the Monticello. It doesn't. Or on the 5 cents. No doubling. But that's alright with me. Still a beautiful 39. That's awesome. Let's continue. Let's see what else we can find. Roll number 22. We got something. It's slick, but it's, uh, it's a keeper. 1940. Monticello is super, super slick. But still worth keeping. Let's keep on searching. On roll 22 and a few coins after that 1940, we just got this 1953 out of San Francisco, which is awesome. Just throw it on the scope real quick so you guys can see it better. It's not in too bad a shape either. It's still got the four columns of the Monticello right there. That's mint mark. 1953. And I already see another coin behind that one. Right here. It's Canadian. I guess that was almost a Canadian ender. It's a 1991. Crowned queen. I'll take it. See what else we can find. Roll number 30, guys, and I think we might have a war knuckle right over here. Not really sure though. Oh, it is a war knuckle. Nice. I guess I'm pretty good at pointing out war knuckles when I see them. 
So that's what I said last time. Meh. I was just kind of surprised by last time when I found that war knuckle. But it's a P whip mark. Mint mark. Not whip mark. Anyways, P mint mark. Let's see what the date is. 1943. It's not a 2 over 3 or a 3 over 2. But, um. Uh, what am I supposed to look for? An extra eye? Is that an extra eye? Kind of looks like it, actually. Let's go closer. Below the eye, it looks like there's an extra eye. Right here. I don't know if I'm just seeing things. That could be something I'm just seeing. Could look absolutely normal. Let me look at my book and see what it looks like. All right. Yeah, the double eye. Yeah, it doesn't look anything like I think it looks. That's just a normal one. If it was a double eye, the eye part would be right here. But it's not there, so we don't have that one. But it's still a war knuckle. Still awesome. Very cool. Let's keep on searching. Still on roll number 30. And we got something. It's Canadian coin. It's magnetic. Steel nickel. 2007. Get the older queen on there. I just like these because I can stick them to my strong magnet. I'm just going to mess with them. Just play with them. <laughs> but yeah. Don't find a lot of the newer Canadians. Just find 90s and 80s Canadians. So it's good to find something different. But uh, this is catching my eye right here. Let's see if this is anything. Nope. Just uh, 1996. Uh, let's continue to see what else we can find. Number 32. We got something. 1948. Out of San Francisco. What is up with these coins, man? Where did I get this box at? I can't even remember. <laughs> but this is a great box. We found a 47S, a 53S, and a, now a 48S. That's awesome. It's not in too bad a shape either. It's not completely wiped like some of the estimate marks that we find. There's something going on with the eye up there, but I think it's just postman damage. It's just kind of squiggled a little bit. Anyways, we've had two war nickels and then a bunch of estimate mark coins so far and a lot of 40s and 50s nickels. I'm happy. We still got a lot of rolls left, so let's keep on hunting and see what else we can find. Number 34, we got something. It's 1947. Out of Denver. Awesome coin. Let's keep on hunting. Roll number 46, guys. We just got ourselves a 1948 Philly. Awesome. Let's keep on hunting and see what else we can find. Roll number 39, guys. We got ourselves a 1955. And this could go one of two ways. It could be a really good coin. It could be a key date or a semi-key date. At, um, I don't know how many million it is, but it's pretty low if it's a Philly. Or it could just be a, a regular 1955 Denver. But uh, let's put it under the scope and then see what it is together. 55... Denver. All right. Unfortunately, we did not get the Philly, but still an awesome coin. Let us continue. See what else we can find. All right, guys. We're on roll number 41, and we just got this bad boy. 1956 with luster left on it. Let's see if it's got full steps on the scope. Oh, man. It's got quite a few steps for sure. And the Monticello is in pretty good shape as well. Doesn't have full steps, but um, it's getting there. I mean, it's not gonna, if I pull it out, it's not gonna give any more damage to it, so that's what I'm gonna do, but I always keep my 50s and 40s nickels for sure. That is an awesome coin. Look at how it shines still. Keeper. Let's continue, see what else we can find. Guys, we got something really special here. It's not the best one I've seen, but it's still awesome. If you know what this is, 
Leave me a comment down below. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to tell you what it is. This is a clipped planchet. So a coin fits right in that groove right there. Let's zoom in for you. And these don't come up too often, guys. I feel like I've only found three of them. And this is the newest one I think I've ever found. A 2000 Denver. That's got a clip in it. Clipped planchet, baby. Doesn't happen too often. Gotta love it. I love finding these coins. It's a cool looking error for sure. But um, I almost missed it because it was right on the end. And I almost just tossed it back into circulation. But man, I, I'm so glad I'm keeping this one. That's a sweet find. Let's continue to see what else we can find. Hole number 45, guys. We got something real special. We got two things, actually. A 1940 right there. I didn't even notice. Uh, let's look at that first. 1940. San Francisco. Awesome. Don't get a lot of those San Francisco coins. But this is also a San Francisco coin. So what am I saying, Warnickel? You don't find them, but yet you found two in a row. That's crazy. But let's just flip out, flip over this coin under the scope so you guys can see it together with me when I find out what it is too. Estimate mark, wiped Monticello, let's see what the date is. 1940, so we found two 1940 San Francisco's back to back. That's kind of weird, but also kind of cool. Let's continue to see what else we can find. Well guys, we finished the box. Welcome to the wrap up. And this is what we got. We got a 39 Philly. We got four 1940 Philadelphias. Two 1940 San Francisco's. One 1940 Philly. 41 Philly, sorry. Uh, 41 San Francisco. Two 1943 War Nichols, Both out of Philadelphia. So that's awesome. We got a 46 Philly, we got a 47 um, Denver, and a 48 Philly. Um, we got a 1952 Philly, a 53 Philly, a 53 Denver, a 55 Denver, a 56 Philly, a 57 Denver, a 58 Denver, a 59 Philly, and two 1959 Denver's uh, for finds of the box I guess we got this beautiful 1956 Philly it's in beautiful shape with some steps left we got this 2000 Denver that's a clipped planchet really doesn't come up that often really cool to see we got um, a 1947s a 1948s and a 1948 53s all low mintage Jeffersons below 25 million minted and then for Canadians and foreign coins we got a 1991 2007 uh, 1984 and a 1985 Canadian as well as that beautiful Swiss coin these really don't come up that often they're really awesome to find they're very um, decorative. It reminds me of actually like a V nickel um, American currency, but um, just in Swiss form, I guess. But um, anyways, hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please smash that like button. Leave a comment, your thoughts, your favorite coin maybe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.